Reading some of these comments makes me think I put way too much faith in the viewer thinking they could understand my points even when blatantly saying them. In the description I linked the video explaining my points in greater detail so the angry people can be happy. These comments are all from my FGC criminals video and range from haha funny to stuff like that. shit video. No research done and attempting to defend no tail fraud. He hasn't changed the fact that you believe him without looking it up is honestly fucking pathetic. Next time, actually do research, dipshit. Hey, nice apologism. Infiltration can stay gone. Racist and sexist is one bit, and you think sorry is good enough? So you forgave the white woman who never saw a day in jail who lied about Emmett Till, who got brutally murdered back in the day? Huh? Unless you forgive racist people, your take is absolute garbage, and if you need to defend racist, well, you're still garbage. No band is dumb when you're known as a sexist racist. This man literally denied sex because of a black girl he assumed didn't care about video games and couldn't do a DP motion. Make that make sense, black man. And I'm a brother too, before you start making up shit. Most of these guys, more or less, are known to be assholes in some form or fashion. Making the concept of forgiveness pointless in a lot of ways. Hop off the dick of men, bro. And I'll do you some good in the future. Zero blast is real. That's not damn well shit. Well, shit. Oof. Screw Chris. He is a racist and you are a kiss ass for trying to help this racist prick out. I am unsubscribing from your channel. No, I'm sorry. No, no. Had to be in the first half, not gonna lie. Run the set, name a fighting game, get smoked. You know, I said MK1, but he still hasn't responded. Get this man the Covenant Cloak and out my feed. Cut his strawberries to precise. That's my favorite comment. LTG committed domestic abuse on himself. Huh? Man legit cucked himself. I'm not sure what that's about. Lotter God's real name is Dale Wilson? You mean Dale, right? Don't care. It's Dale Lotter God Wilson. Don't care. You misspelled Dale Wilson. Still don't care. LTD's real name is Dale Wilson? Source? His real name is Mo Delon Sparrow. Nah, his real name is Crispy Critter. His real name is Clarence. Clarence, Clarence have a real good marriage. I have a question. I usually use the word nigga with my friends. I use the word referring to white and black persons all the same. And to be honest, usually just use the phrase Really nigga? I really just use the word because it sounds cool to me. Is that racist? I am from Cuba and really don't completely understand why is so much problems about things that people say sometimes. I know a lot of black people have different views on it, but here's mine. Just saying nigga does not make you racist. I believe that black people should stop giving these words power. I'm not saying forget the history. Just don't get mad when someone else says it. Words are going to be said and you can't stop everybody from saying them especially if they just happen to be in another language. Niga means you in Korean. Does that make Koreans racist for saying a word that sounds similar to nigga? No. Saying a race slash culture groomed you into saying words you have the option not to say is pretty fucking stupid. If I can laugh or not care when someone calls me the hardy R, every other black person can too. Adapt, nigga. You make excuses for Chris G. It makes you an embarrassment to your people. Only bay hop, Negro, you. That's what I thought you said. Now let me offer this as a rebuttal. Why'd you stop making music? Get on. There's like no activity on your YouTube, which is why I asked. Get on. I'm not taking shit from a nigga that posts ugly pics on Instagram to test his gangsta. You're so old. Where's your wife? Go home to your family, dude. <laughs> Get on. Oh, and one more thing. You peaked. What? You peaked. Are you African or from the Caribbean by chance? Because I'm starting to notice a pattern of you motherfuckers supporting shit like this for validation. What the fuck? I had no fucking clue what he was talking about, but I just knew he was finna spit some bullshit. Flaunt around your inferiority complexes like a trophy just to get white people validation in return. I've seen it in school, in public, and on social media. Y'all would sell your entire families for a quarter of it. Y'all would lap up a pile of steaming nutty shit like it was pig feed if someone told you if it came out of a white ass. No wonder why y'all bleach your skin so much and like trying to kick you off your own continents. You don't speak for all black people, loser. You and anyone else that has black women or girls in their families defending what Chris G said deserve to get elbowed repeatedly in the nose. Fuck you.
Okay, so I know what he's talking about when it comes to people bleaching their skin to look white and all that, but what the fuck are you talking about? I know I don't speak for all black people. I'm speaking for myself. I'm not African or Caribbean, and I didn't defend Chris G. Chris G's comments in 2017 boil down to a massive rant about how there are black gamer girls that claim to care about video games. Do you know how many black gamer girls hit me up for sex and can't even do a DP motion is the funniest shit I've ever heard. Evil geniuses claim these statements have real harmful impact in the fighting game community, but I just don't see it. There's women involved in the FGC. It's not a lot, but they're there. Infinity, Cuddlecore, Sharpie, Jadelyn, I think. You can be mad at him for saying it because these statements were ignorant. But at some point you have to let it go. That's all I'm saying. If you hate Chris G based on what he said five years ago, he's setting up camp in the back of your mind and you're letting him stay there rent free. Unless Chris G says anything close to what he said in 2017, he shouldn't get suddenly dropped from Twitch rivals with no explanation. You can't expect anybody to change if you keep bringing up their past, especially if they've openly regretted saying it. I don't want this to come off as a threat or anything, but you're not safe on the internet. No one is. There are people watching and waiting for you to slip up just one time so they can dig up some ancient history and twist it to make you look bad. If you want to keep hating Chris or F Champ for what they said, that's fine. I really don't give a fuck. Just don't be surprised when the script flips and you're in their situation. And that concludes all the comments I wanted to read for this video. Thank you for helping me reach 600 subs and for the support on my last video. I have I have more videos planned in the future and I also have a discord you guys can join where you can interact with me and other people. I also have a patreon where you can support me. If you pay a dollar then your name can be in the credits so you can gain early access to the videos I'm making. See you in the next video.